Looking for something? We just got boats here. Two Zorkmans. Hey, now that's cheap. Any lesson, you'd be stealing it. I didn't want to have to do this. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. It's a fair price for a fair boat. Well, I got one ready, tied to the pier. Okay, okay, so it's not completely ready. But come on, two Zorkman's pretty darn cheap, and it'll run, I'll tell you. All it needs is a little something for the squeaky wheel, so to speak. Uh, I had a girl. She's a witch. She's quite a girl. I had a fight with her a while back. Uh, I don't even remember what about. I haven't spoken since. I, I wrote her a letter, though. I got it here somewhere. You, you think maybe you could do me a favor and, and take it to her? Appreciate it. Hiya, sailor. Hey, you know, that reminds me of this knot called the cow hitch. I never could tell a joke. Zork meds. <laughs> That's your sword. It's just so dirty when you brought it in, you just don't recognize it. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'll look around. Here it is. I made a mistake. Okay. Uh, I said I was sorry. Uh, that's okay. Anybody can make a mistake. Uh, hmm. Uh, okay. Okay, I'll look around. Oh, oops. I sold it to Ben Fishing. I made a mistake. Here, give him this. You stink. I know that language. <laughs> Two Zork mids. <laughs> Did you hear the one about the boar in the forest? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, greasy fingers. <laughs> Here. <laughs> One Zork mid! Here! Uh, can't read it now! Uh. Yeah. Uh. Mm. 
Who are you? I don't matter. Want some rye? Of course you do. Here's to us. You know, I used to be somebody in this town. People needed me. This valley, oh, as far as you could see, was full of grain and cattle. Now, now, Snoot, he's a ornery one. Only thing meaner than him was his dog, Lexus, he called that varmint. Hellhound, that's what she was. Pure and simple. Oh, what you gonna do that for? We were having such a good time. Keys? Sure, give them here. Oh. Oh, oh, sure, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm too drunk to drive. Anyway, hey, would you pick me up a six-pack while you're out? Uh, I, I'd be much obliged. You keep that. You, you got that six-pack? Ah, oh, it's okay. I got my <laughs> Say, ain't that one of Rupert's orb contraptions? Rupert, you know, he tried to sell me something he called a uh, return tylon. Why, well, that thing weren't nothing but a fingernail from one of those dang buzzards. I threw it away and the dang thing came back and hit me in the backside. I know you're out there. I may be blind, but I can hear you. <laughs> so an ambush, huh? You'll never take me! <sighs> Go ahead, talk me all you want. I'll have the last laugh. You're gonna beg me for mercy. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I, I'm so sorry. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, you big ox! I'm a fairy, stupid! <laughs> Why don't you use a fly swatter? Hmm. Oh, well. I thought you were the one who cured that crazy hunter. Oh. oh, don't you ever run out of arrows? Oh. So, we meet again. Oh, it was brave of you to go near the hunter. I could have handled him myself, though. I was only playing with him. But since it is a matter of honor among fairies to reward good deeds done on our behalf, I'd like you to have this. It's fairy dust. You'll figure it out. Oh, thank you. 
I've been waiting a long time for that. I was getting tired of eating bugs and fish. But I found some really juicy grubs down by the rushes. Thanks. No, thank you. I can see to my own needs. Hmm. Time sure flies when you're getting old. I must be getting senile. I thought I was just talking to somebody. I also thought I was just a duck. Hmm. Hey! I built that! I built that with some friends of mine. Murak, Trimbile, and Ruper. Ruper? Ruper turned me into a duck. Why'd he turn me into a duck? That's one of my old partners. Mudok. I wonder how he is. Really knows his swords. Master strategist. He planned the Dizzy World. Did you know that? We built that like it was an army going into battle. That's Rebecca. She reads a lot. She'd make a good wizard if she'd just loosen up a little. She's good. She's good. In a hundred years, she'll be hot. Watch out. That's part of the last remaining flying disc of Frobos. The Frobos Magic Company made them four or five hundred years ago. They were used to shatter walls of illusion. The wizard said they would hide all the magic of the world behind one. <laughs> but that disc was broken into pieces and hidden. I now live behind a wall of illusion. <laughs> They're a lot of fun. We used to erect walls of illusion and throw those discs at them just to see them crumble. <laughs> I know there's a piece of the disc in that bottle. I put it there myself. I can't get it, I'm too old. But I can shrink you so you can go inside and get it. Yes! Go ahead. Spell will only last 20 minutes. That's illuminate. Pardon. Pardon me. Thank you. Fool! <laughs> I have one just like it. They attract illuminate. Oh, I like books. Oh, oh, this part's written in Mythican, my old language. Here's a good one. How many Union Dwarfs does it take to dig up a piece of Illuminite? Fifteen. You got a problem with that? Ah! <laughs> you got a problem with that? You don't get it. <sighs> oh, you have a pet vulture. They're all mine. Mine! Every mindless one of them! <laughs> that reminds me of the cluster. Do you know about the cluster? No one can see the cluster. It's mine! I was so inspired by it, I built an entire town down here just to be near it. My citadel! It was so easy. I had visions in my sleep, and in the morning the plans would be sitting on the table. <laughs> it was some of my best work. It was some of my best work. Really inspired. I used transluminite. It's translucent. I built one structure I couldn't even see. Now that's something. Indeed. I was part of the Great Diffusion, when all things of evil magic and evil magic itself were destroyed. They had the idea that evil could be destroyed. Ha! A mechanical forge was saved. The manual for the forge that repairs disc was stolen. Destroyed! By the minions of Morpheus. Morpheus. <laughs> You've been traveling a long time. Is there anything you'd like to know? Maybe I can shed some light along your path. Fool! Maybe you'd like to see some of my collection. You! I'm not falling for that stupid reflection trick again. Yo, Zozo! An employee of mine. 
Maybe you could put a picture in there. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. It was really hard to get all those things in there. Hey, I appreciate that. Hey, now all is lost. Hey, but that's all right. Don't worry about it. Just got to start all over again. All right, no big deal. Did I, did I thank you, by the way? Because I wouldn't want you to go sad without me thanking, you know what I mean? Thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay. So you think you're funny. Go ahead. Make me laugh. You know, I never expected to have a winner. I'd like you to have this. I gave my son the other one for good luck, just before I climbed up that rope. I hope he's okay. I'm just glad he's not here mining this transluminite. Been mining here for so long, we can see clear through the mountain. <gasps> so he made it out. Good. You better check your bonding plant. You don't want to get stuck down here like us. Uh, not only do your jokes stink, but so do you. Why'd you have to do that? I gave my son a relic like that. They say it's part of a magic spell. Yeah, that happens. We save a lot on photography bills here. Get out of here. You only have a few seconds left. Look at your bonding plant. Come back later. Very funny. Don't worry. They're not dead. Just quiet. <sighs> Game's over for you. You're kind of clumsy for this kind of work, aren't you? Can't be too choosy these days. Here, you'll need this. You back again? We thought we lost you in the caves. You caused us a lot of trouble. Just who do you think you are? You're outnumbered. You're not just clumsy, you're also not very bright. Okay, okay. We're all a little tense around here. Wait! Your sword. You must be one of us. What? Thanks. I think. What's the matter? Scared of a little hard work? Can't you see we're busy? General, we've got the bearer of the Dwarven Sword of Zork. Good. We'll need all the help we can get. How much of the Luminite do we have left? Right now we have enough. Now let me get this straight. Right now, we've got plenty of Luminite. Yes, sir. It's stockpiled to the left of the armory. Where? Right over there. Where? I don't see it. I got my glasses. Keep those lines straight! It's right over there. It's covered. Oh! On the left. The left. Right! Keep those lines straight! So, you're back. Ready to storm the Citadel. March. March. Left, right. <laughs> that reminds me of a little of Great Uncle Phoebo. Remember? We found that huge chunk of aluminite that started this whole mess. Phoebo's folly, they call it to everybody. Laughed at him. Yep, until he flew out the mine shaft in a drunken stupor. He never could tell us left from his right. And now, that's all we mine. Illuminate. Hello. He must have traveled far. Not too many people visit the temple anymore. Not since the reign of darkness began. Welcome back. There is only one magical device left that can shatter the wall of illusion that allows evil to thrive. 
The device was a disc that was broken and its pieces divided and hidden. The disc must be reforged. I do not know exactly how, but... The orb you carry will focus the light. That used to hold a large crystal of aluminite. It was called the cluster. Canuck used to be mesmerized by it. And when he disappeared, the cluster lost its brilliance. I believe the cluster was evil. Since the time of the cluster and Canuck's disappearance, the world has become increasingly dark. That sword is not the true sword. I will not bless it. Illuminate. You have the true sword. Let me bless it. It will serve you faithfully in your fight against evil. Sweepstakes winner. I've been looking forward to No! No! strategist. You have to teach me the final parts of Survivor. What's that? Who's there? Who are you? What's the password? I can't let you in without the password. And don't try sword fish. I know it's not that. 
I tried it myself. I couldn't get in. So I know it's not that. Well, we haven't had any visitors here since, oh, I don't know how long. He must be another one of Rupert's sweepstakes winners, huh? Okay, what's the password? Did you say the password? I can't remember. I can't let you in without the password, so you must have already said it, huh? It's a good thing you knew the password. It's not safe out there. Those buzzards will steal everything that's not nailed down. Sticky fingers. <laughs> I'd say magnetic. The other day, one of them flew by and my shovel flew off after it. What's your problem? Take it easy, will you? Everybody's got an edge around it. Be calm. I'm calm. See how calm I am? I'm calm. I've been having dreams. Oh, dreams, horrible dreams. Morpheus, it keeps saying. Don't you know how to do anything else? Maybe you could use a little decaf. Down the road to the south, East and West Shanbar used to span the Northern River. But East Shanbar just up and disappeared. And West Shanbar just went south. Well, actually, it didn't just disappear. It sort of gradually disappeared. First the inn, then the general store, Mudok's place. It's eerie. Even half the bridge. The road to the south is impassable. Absolutely impossible to pass. Impossible. Impassable. You look up there. You know what that is? It's the lighthouse. It runs on aluminite. But you don't know what aluminite is. It's the weirdest stuff. You know, the dwarves found it in the mines. It glows brighter than swamp gas. Down buzzes. Those buzzards moved in and started stealing. One of them stole my aluminite rock from the tower. Now this place is useless. People used to come here and bring me everything I needed. But now, hardly anybody comes up here. The mayor and I have an anti-vulture warning system worked out. But without the light, we don't know if it works or not. Well, you wanted to come in, you can leave any time. West Shanbar or what's left of it, down by the river. Go there. What, are you just going to stand there like a marble on a flathead? Hey, hey, pal, I'm talking to you. You know what I mean? Come back any time. Let me know if you find any extra aluminite. I could use it. Shh, hey, come back when you don't smell so bad. Ugh, gas mask. Not bad. What's that? That, that glowing thing. Not that, that. Thank you. Hmm. I don't know how you did it, but you managed to get back here without the one thing I desperately need. You don't know how long I've been waiting for this. Those other frabozos Rupert suckered in never came back. Do you know what you have? I can't believe you've got that. Look, look, look. I've got a piece too. Here. You should take that across to the river to the holy woman at Belnair Temple. Do you know what that is? No, you don't know what that is. That is part of the flying disc of Frobaz. Uh, you know that rope you got there? You'll need that to get across the river. There used to be a rope bridge but it fell down. Now be sure it's double strong so you can get back. Well, you are late. It's all right, but don't let it happen again or be marked down on your permanent record. Tardiness. Good work habits. I like that. First, we're going to have a little pop quiz. I'm so happy to have someone to ask this of. Would you be so kind as to take this book and tape recorder and record what happened to East Shanbar and what caused it? I can't go myself. I have to be here if any of my students come back. I haven't been a teacher all these years without learning how to deal with upstarts and bullies. 
I want you to type, I will not be a bully, three times. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Very good. Now you won't do that again, will you? That's very nice of you to share. You keep it. Oh, that. Mr. Mudok is always playing that silly survivor game of his. We used to play it here, with the children. He always insists on playing the wizard, but he always tries to win the hard way. You know, the wizard is allowed to pass if he can't make a move. Uh, oh, do you think you uh, have to uh, go outside for anything? Oh, that is written in the literary tongue. The book of four jokes and learned essays upon them? I suppose it's good that at least you read occasionally. Rebecca Snoot might be a good one to translate the old language. She picks up languages in a snap. My goodness. Achoo! Two times seven is fourteen. Well, a new constituent. I'm the mayor of Shambar. Glad to meet you. I hope you're registered to vote. I beg your pardon, but you are a guest in our town. Act like it. I'll call the sheriff. I will. I'll lock you in a cell with a grue. Stop it. Stop it! Oh, that's better. You've already got one foot in your mouth. Well, it's easy to get a little paranoid around here. Vultures carrying people off, half the town disappearing. All kinds of horrible things. Bruise. Weird dreams. <laughs> Have you been drinking with Booze Miller? <laughs> If you just came to look, go over there and look at the files. They're open to everybody. <laughs> you might learn something. I used to have less time on my hands when the town was bigger. I'm still needed. The lighthouse keeper and I have worked out an anti-vulture warning system. Can't seem to get it to work yet, though. Maybe you'd like something to read. Those files are the repository of knowledge gathered through the ages. Mages and adventurers have left their marks in here, as well as quite a few good recipes. You know, my wife has a good one for... Uh... Oh! <laughs> Go over there and make yourself at home. <laughs> well, 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 you're back. Have you decided you like our little town? Always room for one more. At the rate people are disappearing, we could use a few new faces around here, huh? Huh? Hmm? Would you mind standing a little farther back? <laughs> hmm, so you are the studious sort. I think I can translate one of those. <laughs> it's in literary tongue. Let me see. How many implementors does it take to screw in a light bulb? That's a hardware problem. <laughs> oh, yes, Mavis Peepers is a little preoccupied. That's why we put the bell there. But someone keeps stealing the rope. That is our keeper of the flame. The brave soul who lives all alone, keeping an eye peeled for vultures. 
He's a trifle long-winded. The only way to get his attention is to put something right in front of his face. Modicum Mudok. <laughs> he used to sell arms. Guess someone took him seriously. <laughs> but one day he just disappeared. Along with his shop. She's a brilliant woman. Anthropologist. Always studying. It's a shame about the infrastructure of the valley. Ever since that, things started going downhill. Travel has become very precarious. Well, how nice. Come on in. Your room's right upstairs. Oh, you're in room one. Why? Why, that's my husband, Modoc. He's got, he's got that little shot right across the way there. Yeah, that's his. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Too bad they can't war him for sound. That'd keep the vultures away. Hmm, wonder if he ever got that lot fixed. A whistle? What on earth could you call with a funny looking thing like that? That little know it all feeds that cow hers carrots so they'll see better in the dark. Excuse me, but I think you are just a little overripe. Thanks, but no, no thanks. Oh, back again. You want your same room back? It's still available. <gasps> ooh, ooh. Something I can do for you. I look around. Let me know. My name's Mudok. Modokam Mudok. This game, I pull up a chair, I'll teach it to you. It's called Survivor, in honor of Trimbile and Kunuk, the only two survivors of the Great Diffusion. Well, that happened over 400 years ago. You know, nobody really takes the time to learn this game. You've done good. I'd like to give you something that may help you on your way. It's a real fine sword. A little worse for the wire, but the smithy across the way can shine it up for you. Oh, and here's a talker. It might come in handy. Kodok, brilliant engineer, genius with aluminite. He made the whole thing work. But he started acting a little funny. I haven't seen him for a long time. We built them. Me, Trimbile, Roper, Canuck. That's a prototype. It can receive, but it can't send. We were still working the bugs out when the partnership folded. You know, I didn't always have just one arm. An orc got it. <laughs> when I was trying to help me bodies out, got caught by reflection in a mirror Roper was using to deflect a spell. <laughs> Ricochet. <laughs> You almost have to be invisible to get by those things. Why, well, that reminds me of my old partner, Canuck. He was something. Really creative. Modoc, honey. I don't mean to be malicious, but that guy really gave me the creeps. I didn't even know who I was talking to when he was around. He was a real nutcase. 
I made everything work. Couldn't understand why Roper did what he did. Go away! I haven't got anything for you! I've only got one milk cow, and she only eats carrots! So just go away! Please, leave me alone! Ah, that's all right. Just take what you need and go away. And you can take that ludicrous box out there too. I didn't order it, and I didn't want it. The missus didn't order it, and she doesn't want it. And the cow don't need it either. I didn't have anything here that can do you any good, and I don't open my door for no one no more. Oh, hey. I do make a pretty good haggis. I don't know anyone. Please, leave me alone. Oh, I know that one. Four jokes and learned essays upon them. This is by Bizboz. Hold it right there. I'm warning you. That's better. Okay, you're all right. Just next time, try to use the door. And you don't need to steal anything. I know you're on our side, so you can take whatever you need. I'm Rebecca Snoot. We weren't properly introduced. No, you keep it. There you are. I've been wondering where you've been. I've been looking for you. Listen to this. I think it's really a lens. We never built a library because the mayor's files were so entertaining. Dad always said that milk is good for your eyesight. Count your fingers after you shake hands with him. Oh, it's in magic script. Probably from that senile old wizard from Froboz. I can't read that script. I studied up. I can translate it now. Why do flatheads write TGIF on their shoes? Toes go in first. I read in Magic Monthly that mirrors reflect spells. I'm working on a book. It's called Zork, The Return of Evil. I'll let you know what I find out. The vultures are good for just one thing and one thing only. They're talons. When you find one, grab it. They're like boomerangs. I understand the ancient ruins had a special purpose. I read in a book that orbs were used to focus light energy. I've been reading mythology lately. It is said that there used to be a forge at the ancient ruins. But it also says there used to be a cyclops. Oh, and I also heard that there were grooves that attack you in the dark. If there is a mechanical forge, I can't imagine how it worked. I heard it's made of stone, but there are a few parts missing. It says in this book that I've been reading, The Myths of Kendor by Belbaz, that the shrine to the six ancient muses of the arts was sculpted in 966 GUE. I've heard that the ancient muses of the arts are, in fact, the ancient ruins, and maybe that they're part of the forge.
There's a myth that there used to be an age of magic and it was followed by an age of science. The end of the age of magic came about in 966 GUE when all of the mages got together to banish evil. Most of them lost their powers in the process. It's almost 500 years ago. I guess they thought it was worth it. Hi, how's your progress? Oh, I just found this out. There's a legend about a fearsome necklace. Oh, I learned more about that necklace. It strikes fear into the hearts of your enemies. You want to hear something? Listen to this. I just put it together. I know there's something evil happening, and I know its name is Morpheus. It keeps introducing itself in my dreams. Morpheus is using the stone statues. He's copying all the best qualities of every life form and incorporating them into his very being. Morpheus must be spending an incredible amount of energy to prevent his statues from being destoned. A long time ago, I think I remember Canuck using vultures to fly to our farm to visit my dad. And then he tried to sell them these really goofy gizmos. My friends have brought you to me. You must be kind. You must be light-footed. You will not get far without our help. Beyond the trees will be your task. Past fearful form will be your mask. The veil of water shall be yours also. Listen to the woods when they whisper. In the whispering wood the ferryman answers thee. Keep one for two ways, or forever held there be. Morpheus's evil power is close. I feel it. The essence of evil has seeped into the rocks deep below the ground. Morpheus is its name. Many things happen in the forest of the spirits. Be wary. Nature conservation is your only hope for a future. Treat us kindly. Invader! So, you made it this far. You may have killed my brother trolls, but you won't kill me. I don't know what powers you possess, but you're no match for me. <laughs> You'll... Never get out of here alive! Wait! Wait! No! No! Spare me! I'll give you this necklace. It has magical powers. Magical powers! Just don't hurt me! You'll never leave here alive! Gru got your tongue? <laughs> oh, perhaps you are already stone. Let me see. You are afraid? There's no reason for you to be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's tall, so what? Okay, so she's tall, so what? 
What in blazes is that? You expect me to know? What? What the? Are you? What are you? Ah! What do I need with that? You're a little ripe, you know that? That's pathetic! Fight like a troll! scared me. Stay back. What do you want? Oh. Oh, it's you again. S stay back, okay? I escaped from the Cliffs of Depression. I don't know how long ago. If only I could go to a happy place. Somewhere fun. Wow. I told myself if anyone was ever nice to me, I'd give them this. Yeah, but what's it to you? Why do you want to know about me? Don't take me back there! Do I scare you because I'm dirty and alone? That's my old teacher, Miss Peepers. I wonder if she'd let me stay with her. That's the mayor. He wouldn't know me, but I'd vote for him. Oh, you've got a bonding plant. My dad had one, but when he went to the cliffs, it wilted and he couldn't leave. No! That's my father. I miss him. Oh, don't hurt me with that. Oh, hello! The potion's not ready yet, but you could have a cup of tea. Frogs have to boil down just a bit. I use too much water. <laughs> Some guest! A little shy, huh? You just sit there and sip your tea until you feel better. Bored, are you? A walk in the bogs will cure that. Most people wouldn't dare smile at a witch. Someone special used to smile at me like that. But we haven't spoken in ages. Forget why. You're wise to take care. A false move around here could cost you dearly. Oh. For me? I must take your boat. Why don't you take that stick so you can navigate the bogs? Thank you. You're such a dear! Toodaloo! I'll be taking your boat. Hmm. I can do that! <laughs> oh, get out of here! I only use fresh ingredients in my potions. Oh, you've got one of Rupert's orbs. He built it with Wizard Trimbile and Moodock. Canuck designed the battery. Canuck must be about 425 years old by now.
And the wizard? He's got to be a lot older than that. They cast themselves a long life spell before the Great Diffusion. 400 years ago, all the wizards got together to dispel the evil magic from the Great Underground Empire. Everything with magical powers was either destroyed or dismantled. <laughs> Fat lot of good that did. You ever milked a cow with cold hands? Ah! These little darlings are very useful. And so are their byproducts. Oh, that's Ben, my beau. Or at least he used to be. We used to go sailing a lot. Rupert had to turn him into a duck, for his own good. Oh, let me see. Oh, it's in Zorkmid's script. Do you know why most Zork jokes are one line? So flatheads can remember them! <laughs> oh, you'll need that to navigate the bogs. Go ahead, take it! You know, there's a fear talisman that'll scare the webbing right out of that spider. I used to have it, but some little troll lifted it when I was out! Hey! Hey! I've been talking a long time! I sense movement! I need a new battery! Can you hear me? A new battery! This used to be called the Valley of the Sparrows. <laughs> it's had a name change recently. Oh. Oh. I sense we're near the lighthouse. Ask that old fool how the road to the south is. <laughs> that old boar. Oh. Oh, that reminds me. Did you hear the one about the appa... <laughs> <laughs> About the appetite of the wild boar <laughs> in the forest of the spirit. And that's the only way to get out of there alive. I hope you remember that when the time comes. I can sense that your sword is glowing blue. That guy drinks so much, even his plants are potted. <laughs> Illuminite attracts evil magic like a magnet. Now that's not the way I remembered it. Rupert had to turn him into a duck in self-defense. Canucks, wacko. <laughs> now he's quacko! <laughs> that's no poodle. That's a hellhound! <laughs> oh. I remember a great explosion. You know, it was back in 1247, and we had to destroy everything magic, whether it was mechanical or enchanted. Had to go. We even blew up the Froboz Magic Company and all its inventory. Boy, was that a good one. <laughs> Our enemies had placed a spy in basement level number six. But we knew that. And, whoop, I gotta go. It isn't easy to trick evil. Here's what we did. I can't believe we did this, but we did. The wizards met in room number two at the Inn of Is Enough to plan the great dispersal of all magic. Hey, you remember that spy I told you about? <laughs> we tricked him. We talked in code. <laughs> hey, hey, you remember that spy I was telling you about? 
Now we let that spy think we were going to hide the magic behind a wall of illusion. <laughs> but we didn't. We just blew it up. We made a decoy wall of illusion. During the explosion, the wall went too. Now that's what folks now call the Great Diffusion. Well, we thought we'd gotten rid of the bad magic. Cows got fatter, people slimmed down, food got better, life was good. But over the years, the evil magic began to seep down into the soil, and eventually it settled in the Illuminite. Magic and Illuminite seemed to attract. I remember a witch who had that effect on me. <laughs> now, Canuck's been overpowered by the cluster. Now, the cluster isn't happy being called a cluster anymore. No, it wants to be called Morpheus. Has delusions of grandeur, wouldn't you say? And Canuck seems to be taking instructions from it. Hey, hey, remember the spy that believed our story about the wall of illusion? Well, the only thing that can shatter a wall of illusion is a flying disk of Frobaz. So practitioners of evil broke one up and hid all the pieces before we could destroy it. Now they also built a secret mechanical forge to put the pieces back together. Hey, you know that forge I was talking about? No one I know has ever seen this alleged forge. So it may be just a myth. Canuck created a wall of illusion for Morpheus. We seem to be working at cross purposes. I must relieve you of your belongings until you learn. Ha 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 ha!